Oh, wakey, wakey. Oh, hi there. Merry Christmas, sleepyhead. Oh, also, loved the cookies, by the way. Though I'm not really a big milk guy, uh, maybe swap it out for soda next time. Anyway, I wasn't going to wake you up, but I got so bored. Figured you'd want your present a little early, wouldn't you agree? Wait, hold on. You don't know who I am. Go on. Take a guess. No, I'm not Santa. Come on. Seriously, do I look like Santa? Like, besides the outfit, there's no resemblance at all. Keep guessing. Uh, no, I'm not your ex-boyfriend. Or some crazy homeless guy that broke into your house. Jesus. Okay, okay. You give up? I'm Sam Claus. You know, Santa's son. What, you've never heard of me? Oh, come on. Does seriously nobody else know about me? So everybody knows my dad, but no one knows who I am. Oh, man. Well... Now somebody does, I guess, so congrats. You're the first person who's ever seen me. And probably the last because, I mean, this is kind of embarrassing, isn't it? Though no worries, the night's still pretty long and we've got plenty of time. What are you doing? Can you, can you stop tugging on my suit? I, I'm real, okay? I am real. So is the hat, the belt, the suit, the boots, and the rings, okay? You're not dreaming. Well, of course my dad and I are real. Who do you think gave you that iPhone? Your parents? I can't believe you still believe in that stuff. And if you thought we weren't real, then why the fuck do you leave out a plate of cookies? Yeah, I don't know either. Someone's gotta eat them. You got any more burning questions? How'd I get in? Well, same as you through the front door. Chimney? No, you, you live in an apartment, okay? You really are strange. Now, finally, a relevant question. Why am I here? I'm here for you, silly. Well, I was told a beautiful, lonely girl who lived in this room, in this apartment, wished for a... Oh, hold on, let me check the letter. Check it twice, of course. I quote, A super cute, hot, sexy boyfriend with rock-hard abs and an 8-inch... Well, you know the rest. Why are you burning up? Isn't that what you wish for? Are you saying that you didn't write this letter? I mean, I can make out the return address. Clearly, this is it. Huh. Okay, my bad. Must have gone to the wrong house then, so I'll be going. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. You really should be careful for what you wish, you know? <sighs> You're lucky my dad didn't see that letter. You would have ended up on the naughty list. I was able to snag it just in time. Well, you happen to be one of the first people to track. I keep a special eye on you. And I say that in a non-creepy stalker way. It's kind of my job to see who's been naughty or nice. And well, you've been incredibly naughty. 
Though I think that that just this once we can look the other way. I say that because you made me cookies. Don't matter if you made them for me or not. I ate them, didn't I? Whatever you say. Your apartment looks awesome, by the way. You really went out with the lights in the tree. I really love your Christmas spirit. Most people only decorate if they got families, but you still do it alone. I just had to stop by and fulfill your wish. Nobody should be alone for Christmas. Has Christmas always been your favorite holiday? Love to hear it. Love it. Well, of course, it's my favorite holiday. I mean, duh. But off record, Halloween's my favorite. I know, shocking. Back in the North Pole, every day is basically Christmas, so I'm surrounded by eternal Christmas cheer. Though I like Halloween. It's a day where you can be somebody else for a change. Of course, doesn't everyone want to be someone else different? Why would I be any different? Well, believe it or not, my life isn't that interesting compared to yours. If I could swap for a day, I actually would. Oh, really? Come on, what's not to like about your life? You got so much freedom, you got unlimited internet access, you can do whatever you want to do, talk with anyone you'd like. Me? I'm not even supposed to be talking to you right now. And when I'm finally ready to take over the family business, at best I can get to talk to you is once a year. Oh, don't worry about him. He's busy delivering millions of presents right now. He won't even know I'm gone till the day after Christmas. Well, yeah, do you have any idea how much caffeine he's on right now to deliver that many presents? When the crash comes, he's out for at least a few days. Though honestly, I shouldn't stay for too long, you know. It's kind of alarming to see a boy in a Santa outfit on a flying sleigh in broad daylight. Basically what I'm saying is, what would you like to do tonight? It is your wish after all. Me? No, 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 come on. It's Christmas Eve. Tonight is all about you. I don't really, I, I, I don't need a wish fulfilled. There's not much to wish for with, with my family background at all. Almost anything can be made at the North Pole. Except for, well, hmm. No, no, it's, it's embarrassing. You don't want to hear it. Uh, okay. Okay, fine. I've always wanted to cuddle someone it gets super cold in the north pole and sometimes i just wish i had someone's warm embrace even if it was just for once i think you can help me with that oh really that's great though i can't let you waste tonight on me I need to fulfill your wish, too, and don't think that I didn't read the whole thing you wrote. You really had quite the nerve to send that letter to the North Pole. Did your friends dare you or something? You thought the address went nowhere, huh? Well, it's one thing to wish for a boyfriend, but... To put down that entire fantasy of yours. Whew, damn. It even made me a little excited. 
You really do deserve to be on the naughty list. But, oh well. Who's keeping track anyways? You see those presents over there? Yeah. The neatly wrapped ones. The green, blue, red. Those are for you. Or for us, I suppose. I called it a special favor from some of the elves and... They were able to make some of the goodies for that wish of yours. Special stuff my dad would never approve of. Well, I, I guess you could call them toys. Just not the usual kind of toys we usually make. Feel free to open one of them up. Though choose carefully which one you open first. Take your time, too. Opening gifts is the best part of Christmas, you know. Hmm. <laughs> That's a good one. Isn't it exactly what you wish for? What do you say? <laughs> All right, come here. Mm. So what'll it be? You gonna ride my sleigh or should I just stuff your stocking? Hey everyone, you made it to the end. Congratulations. If you enjoyed the video, I just wanted to let you know that I do have a Patreon where I'm regularly making spicy audios and extensions to videos like these. Feel free to support me on there or to check out my other socials in the description below. I hope to see you next time. Au revoir.